You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Today, we are getting started with our first host call of the weekend. We've got four great questions today, some shorter, some longer, and I am looking forward to getting right into them, so let's go. All right, our first question is from Matthew. Matthew writes in saying, Hello, Dr. Cabral. I love listening to your podcast. I know that you can tell things about your health by looking at your nails, but what do white marks on my fingernails mean. I've read it could be an iron deficiency, but wanted to know what you thought. Thanks. Okay, so Matthew, this goes back thousands of years when they basically did fingernail and nail diagnosis, and I still use that in my practice today. So my goal is when I see someone, whether it's through a Skype video consult or whether it's in my actual office, is I listen to the story. I look at their blood under the microscope if they're in office, of course, If and then it's the only thing we don't do, essentially, if they're not in office. And then after that, we do some blood pressure testing. We look at the eyes, all, all sorts of different things, right? So we're taking a full intake. We look inside the mouth. What's the health of the mouth? Like all these things are connected that your doctor should be looking at. I'm working with some people right now with serious health conditions and it's amazing. And I asked them, has your doctor ever looked at your actual feet? Like you have fungal infections in your nails and that fungal infection is obviously causing your immune system to be overactive. Like, have they ever looked at a systemic yeast-based condition? The answer is like, no, they haven't. And and so like, it's just hard to believe that medicine has become so robotic that we don't even look at the human anywhere. We don't look at the person. Having white spots in your fingernails is not normal. Like that's not how normal nails are supposed to look. So obviously it's out of the ordinary. And the other issue is that medical doctors are told to just kind of push aside white spots on the nails because it's probably just something called leukonychia, which means essentially uh, you damage the nail bed, like you hit it on something. And that's absolutely possible. However, white spots don't come about like that. They come, so meaning like if you damage the nail bed that might be kind of growing out, you would see the white spots start at the bottom and just start to grow up. Or if you hit the nail, Specifically, you might see it straight across, but you don't. You see speckled white spots a lot of times on people's fingernails. And it is absolutely a mineral deficiency. The reason why medical science is having a real difficult time with it is because they can't pin it down to which mineral it may be. So actually, I'm going to do a whole show on nail diagnosis because, you know, what happens if someone has brown lines on their finger? Now, what happens if they have horizontal ridges? What does it mean if they have vertical ridges? What does it mean if they have pitting on their nails? All of these things mean something. Like, what about a yellow edge around the nail? So I'll talk about those things. But today, let's answer your question. It absolutely does mean a mineral deficiency. And so I see them a lot when people get a cold or they get sickness. And what minerals get used up when you're not feeling well? A lot of times it is calcium, but the big one is zinc. So I have seen it in my practice and in Ayurvedic medicine as well, that when people get sick or or they're just run down or their body's feeling weak, they'll get those white spots usually means zinc deficiency. So I would look into that first. Most people are zinc deficient. You know, bottom line is you can do this really easily. You do it just do a hair tissue mineral analysis and you will see which minerals you need more of. Very, very simple, inexpensive test. Hair tissue mineral analysis. Of course, you can find that on my website as well, just under the store. So Matthew, hopefully that answers your question. That's what I look at first. A straight white line across can sometimes be selenium deficiency, but again, always look zinc first and then calcium and then maybe selenium. But it could be, again, any mineral, but those are the big ones. Those are the main ones. And in the future, stay tuned because I'll be doing a whole show on nail diagnosis. All right. Alexandra is up next. Alexandra writes in, Hi, Dr. Brawl. My name is Alexandra. I've asked questions on your podcast in the past, and I keep up with your podcast and Instagram post daily. Thank you, Alexandra. We appreciate that. And if anyone is not tuned into my Instagram.com forward slash Stephen Cabral, I'm telling you, you have to check that out. I love putting those posts up there, and we do two a day. Like, literally, they take 10 seconds to read, and I give a post a day on content. Like, it's pure content. I've never once sold 
sold anything on Instagram, I would check it out. I really, it's a, I'm a big fan of that platform. And also on Instagram, if you, I mean, on Facebook, if you go to facebook.com forward slash Dr. Stephen Cabral with just DR, uh, you'll find that as well. Okay. Thank you for putting all of your information out there for people like me. I've learned so much. You're one of the only people I've listened to who has the view on health and wellness that I aspire to. I recently graduated and am going back to school to complete a nutrition program, but want to practice holistically and have an integrated approach. Do you allow people to shadow in your practice? I would love to be able to sit in on one consultation specifically pertaining to nutrition. I feel as if I would learn so much, probably more than any of clinical rotation I would ever have in school. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks for your time, Alex. Okay. So Alex, happy to answer this question. I get this question probably two to three times per week. People want to sit in on consultations that I do. And I honestly, I respect that. I understand that. And I appreciate that. However, privacy wise, I never allow anyone to sit in on the consultation unless it's a family member or someone that they want in there, a friend, right? So I do that out of respect for the person that I'm working with, that I'm, you know, I'm caring for in that practice. It wouldn't be right, I don't believe, to have someone that gets very personal stories, anything that they might share, to have someone sit in. However, what we do like allow is for people to work directly with myself who work directly with my holistic health coach, our nutritionist, as an actual patient or health client, right? So that you get to work on any of the issues that you might be having and actually learn about how we practice, right? So Alex, this is what I did. And I honestly think it's the best education in the world. You take care of all of your health issues first, any weight issues, any anything that's bothering you. You take care of that. You fix yourself. You learn a lot in the process. And then you're able to share that with others. I can tell you specifically, you're in school. You read the books. Fantastic. Good. I read the 300 or so books for graduate school. And then I read 3,000 more. And all that's great, right? Amazing. But working in practices and doing those rotations and having a mentor just changed my entire perspective. I got to actually see how do you implement these things from books and actually put them into direct clinical practice. So I believe that was a big, big benefit for myself. And certainly it's helped me get better results for people in my practice. And the last thing I would say is we take on one intern every four months, like so for like a four month rotation, so basically a semester, we have people who are dietitians who are going to become holistic health coaches or whatever it might be. And so they work here as an intern and they obviously there's an application process and then they get to kind of see how a wellness center, an integrative wellness center is run. So you are welcome to apply if you have four months that you could actually be an intern or you could actually become an actual patient or wellness client with myself or one of the holistic health coaches. She's available on a weekly basis. Her name's Julia. She's amazing. And she works with anyone who does an online lab test from stephencabral.com forward slash store. Working with myself is I will never turn anyone away. That's not true. You actually have to want to get well. Believe it or not, some people, they say they want to get well and they actually don't. And then I just say, please don't waste your time or your money. Think about it. Really start to work on your mindset. When you're really ready to get well, then please come talk with me and I'd be happy to help you get well. But I'm booking out four to six weeks in advance. So it's just, it's just not a right away to work with myself. So hopefully that answers your question. I do get it a lot. And now that is my answer. All right. Elena and Mark are up next. Hello, Steam Cabral and team. My husband and I have both ordered your parasite protocol in the past and are seriously contemplating ordering two of your genetic DNA wellness packages and two of your food sensitivity packages. However, we know you offer discounts once a month on different things. As we are both listeners to your podcast, will there be any discounts coming up on either of those tests we could use? We believe in investing in our health for knowledge in this case truly is power, yet we want to do so wisely. Thank you, Elaine and Mark. I get a lot of questions soon. That's why I want to answer this on the podcast. Like, when will you be doing a sale? When will you be doing discounts? So we actually never discount our labs and we never discount our specific protocols. I do agree, like once a month, our team might get together and say, you know what, this could benefit people the most this month. So like, for example, 
we're giving away this month a like winter supply. It's 120 capsules. Like you're not getting just a little trial bottle. We're giving you a essentially, I would say it's more like a two month supply of vitamin D free with any purchase from stephencabral.com. So basically if you order a lab test or you order any one of the supplements from that website, you're automatically going to get a free bottle of vitamin D shipped to you. I just to answer your question, that's more what we do. Like uh, we may run a a Dr. Brawl detox special where if you purchase a, you know, four kits, you might get a a complimentary bottle of a probiotic. We've done that in the past, but there's nothing set in stone. And and certainly for the lab tests, you know, we just don't do that. However, we would always let you know, like we're not one of those people where if you like ordered it, you know, we'd say, okay, well, we're going to be doing this this month. You know, we'd be happy to let you know. However, so the last thing I'll end with is this, is that when you order two lab kits, you actually get 10% off. So you'll get 10% off your two genetic DNA wellness packages. So that will save you over $100. And so that is absolutely worthwhile to order them both at the same time. And keep in mind, when you do a DNA-based test, you get me on the phone with you. We do a 30-minute consultation for each one of those labs. So built into the labs is not just the cost of the lab. Like We do a great job at keeping all of those costs down for you. But then you get a written recommendation, like a written protocol from me with your lab report. And you either get a call with myself or you get a call with my holistic health coach. She does all of the calls except for the DNA because it's so specialized, right? We're talking about your genetics. We're talking about all of the things that are going to help you age best, like most appropriately to hopefully live longer. And I'm going to talk in depth with you about that. So that's why that comes with that. And of course, I never discount my time because I can't, right? I only have so many hours in the day and I'm way, you know, overbooked as it is. So trying to do better. It's part of those New Year's resolutions. All right. Hopefully that answers your question as well. But yes, you do get the 10% discount on ordering the uh, multiple labs. All right. Emily's up next. Hello, Dr. Brawl. I am writing to ask you what I can do to help my boyfriend of three years. Long story short, he has a brain condition that's extremely rare called palato myoclonus. After years of no answers, a doctor found nerves pressing in his brain in the trigeminal region. He has an awful jaw and face spasms, painful head pressure, clicking in the ears, head fogginess, headaches upon waking, etc. He has been through the ringer, over 35 doctors, and even had brain surgery four months ago. There are so many symptoms for this problem, but his main issue is constant head pressure and pain. I don't know why I'm writing other than desperation or even really asking. Just wondering if there's any type of pain relief treatment you could recommend. I'm an everyday listener of your podcast and really respect your work. Any response is greatly appreciated. Thank you, Emily. Okay, Emily, you know, believe it or not, I have heard of this and can help you out with this. Whether this ends up being the end all be all, only time will tell. But I can tell you that very, very specifically, people are getting some relief using things that calm the nervous system, right? I've talked about this before. When you have, so in this specific disease, just so people know, there's a kind of incessant clicking of the top of your mouth, the palate of your mouth. It's a spasm where it just clicks and clicks and clicks. Your ears can pop in and out all day long, every second of the day. It's obviously extremely frustrating, extremely annoying, unbelievable that anyone should ever have to deal with this. But people have successfully dealt with this by using specific things that basically calm the central nervous system, like clonopins or things that promote serotonin. So what are all these things doing? So I want to help you more from a natural perspective. And I want you to look into this, Emily. So one thing is this. You always want to think about this. When the sympathetic nervous system is overactive, when a person's very stressed, the body starts to twitch. It has spasms. It starts to get depleted of things like maybe sodium and potassium and magnesium. And it's left a lot of times with calcium or calcification of certain nerves and calcification of certain tissues. And so what we do is we run a hair tissue mineral analysis. And this might be worth looking into, Emily, because what if your boyfriend does have high levels of mercury, high levels of copper? What if he's depleted of magnesium, right? What if using magnesium, high doses of magnesium glycinate, 
for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then using magnesium citrate before bed in some product called like Natural Calm. What if using those all of a sudden calmed down his nervous system? So maybe there was some popping, some clicking, but not as much. Like that would be life changing for a lot of people dealing with this disease. And then what if you looked at he had high levels of aluminum, higher levels of mercury, which were aggravating the nervous system. And then you started to detox those specifically, right? And what if you got a more on plant based diet so that you started to reduce inflammation? You started to maybe use some omega-3s, like the pure omega that we have on the the store, or a product that's higher in EPA, which is more anti-inflammatory than DHA. Both are great, and he needs both because that's for the central nervous system. So again, there's a lot to talk about, but my first step would be, okay, let's look into maybe an omega-3 lab for inflammation, definitely a hair tissue mineral analysis. Let's start with some magnesium specifically, magnesium glycinate. Again, like I can't give you recommendations just over a podcast, right? But if this was something I was working with in my practice, I might look to doing like three capsules of magnesium glycinate with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I would probably use a little natural calm before bed. Now, I would find out though, and I I would say, okay, is this person now having loose stool? If they are, they've met what's called bowel tolerance. And I would back off the dosage by one capsule of each or just cutting back the, the powder at night. And then I would say, is this having an effect within a week or two weeks? If yes, great. Well, then it's a central nervous system based issue and we can do a lot of work with that. So hopefully that, it gives you a starting point, right? Obviously I can't work, just say, okay, here's the answer to that, right? Because there isn't. So not initially, meaning like there is absolutely hope for your boyfriend. You should never give up hope, no doubt about it, because Again, start a detox. Do the 21-day Dr. Ball detox. Increase your magnesium levels. Test those hair tissue mineral analysis. Add in omega-3s as an anti-inflammatory. You don't have to use them the rest of your life, but for a good three or four months, take a high dosage of that. Somewhere around three grams, maybe four grams of good omega-3s, mainly coming from that EPA. All of these things will help. Get on that plant-based diet. Get on those anti-inflammatory foods. Do what you can do is basically what I'm saying. Don't give up. Do what you can do. Do what you know is anti anti-inflammatory, do what you know will detox the body and do what you know will calm the central nervous system, which is things like GABA, L-theanine and magnesium. You know, that's a great place to start. Really great place to start. I appreciate your listens. I also appreciate you writing in and I really do. I wish the best for you. I wish the best for your boyfriend. I know how hard it is for not only your boyfriend, but for you as well, because you're, you know, you're with him and you're trying to help out as well. And I know how tough that can be. So really do appreciate, like I said, the listens and, and as always, if I can help answer your question, do feel free to write in at stephencabral.com forward slash askabral. I want to sincerely thank you for your support of this podcast. I couldn't do it without you. And I mean that I truly do. I also want to make sure you knew that we now have multiple ways for you to find your answers to the most difficult health, wellness, weight loss, and anti-aging questions. You can find podcast-specific topics like thyroid, adrenal, hormones, sleep, digestion, Ayurveda, and many more at stephencabral.com forward slash podcasts that will then link you to your favorite Apple, Spotify, and other podcast players. Plus, all new podcasts and weekly exclusive video content is being added to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Stephen Cabral. And that's Stephen with a PH. Head on over and subscribe so that you don't miss any of the exclusive content. Lastly, if you've ever found any of my podcasts or books to be helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a review on iTunes or your favorite media player for the podcast. Rating and subscribing to the YouTube and podcast allow me to reach more and more people and help spread my mission of healing throughout the world. Thank you again for being a part of this movement.